we're back with another edition of Outreach Presenting Creepy Crawlers. So this time, you gotta guess which one I'm making. We're gonna start with scissors, a marker, a pencil, two pieces of orange paper, and metal clasps. Take your first piece of paper, we're gonna fold it hamburger style. Make sure that you got that crease there. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my pencil drawing this creature's body. So at the top, I'm gonna do a small half circle. And then this shape is a little bit hard to explain, but I'm gonna go over it with um, a marker so that you can see exactly how it looks. So here's me going over the pencil marks with a marker so you can see the shapes that I drew. So just copy this. All right, now at the top circle, we're gonna draw another circle on there, which is gonna be for the eye. So you just draw that, color that in, and make it look just like this. All right, now take your scissors and let's get this cut out. So on this one, I smoothed over those pointed parts, and what I'm gonna do is go in a little bit later and cut it out. So here's me going through and cutting out those little smaller pieces that need a little bit more precision. All right, now we're gonna open it up, place it on top of another piece of paper because we are going to trace the other side. So we want it to look exactly like the other side of the mystery creature. You're gonna trace the eye, color it in, and then also trace the outline that we have on the other side. Alright, now let's finish outlining the abdomen. Did you know that insects have three parts of their body? The head, the thorax, and the abdomen? So right now, I'm drawing lines on the abdomen of this insect. Alright, perfect. So now, let's grab another piece of paper, fold it in half hamburger style. Now, we're going to line the insect's head up with the top of the paper. Let's make a line right under the abdomen. This way, we can make sure the wings are the right shape. So here I'm drawing a long curved line and then like a little wavy line at the bottom. I'm about to go over with a black marker so you can see it better. Awesome. Once you got that outline completed, now we're going to erase any pencil marks that don't need to be there and cut it out. Okay, once it's cut out, we're gonna cut it down the middle right along that crease. And now we have two separate wings. I'm gonna go ahead and go over one side so I can have an outline like I do on the other wing. And I'm also gonna go across this flat edge because it doesn't have an outline yet. All right, now we have two wings, and you can do any pattern that you'd like. I just wanted to do something kind of simple and cute, so I'm just gonna put two small circles in the bottom corners of each wing. One small circle in the bottom corner of each wing. All right, now let's see if we can get it matched up. Have you figured out what this is yet? It's so I'm just gonna cut a little bit off the wing so that it doesn't cover up the head. So I'm just kind of tracing the bottom circle of the head and then I'm cutting those little pieces off. And I'm also gonna go over that little spot with the black marker just to make sure my outline is complete. All right, now I'm gonna get those wings matched up and next we're gonna create the holes that we're gonna stick the metal clasp in. Here you can see where I put the dots. In the future, I would probably move them a little bit farther from the corner just because when you put the clasp in, it has the potential to rip. All right, also I'm lining up the wing and then using the mechanical pencil to like draw a little dot. That way I know where to push it through. Making the holes a little bit bigger and now let's grab our clasp so we can get these wings attached to our mystery creature. Even though I'm starting to think that y'all probably have it figured out by now. All right, 
So we're gonna get those attached and then go on to the next thing. All right, now we got us some flapping wings. So cute, I love this orange and black color. It really reminds me of fall. Now let's grab our scrap piece of paper and right here we are going to make some antenna. I'm drawing like a half heart shape uh, just because that's how I want them to look. I'm going to trace over so you can see a little bit better. And I do have this folded over so that way I can make two of the same size. So now we're just going to get that cut out. Now that we got it cut out, let's go ahead and trace the outline so that both of the antennae match. Once you've got that done, we're going to grab our glue and put a small dab on each of the antennae. And for this one, um, this glue is a little bit wet so you might have to wait a little moment for it to dry. Okay, and now they're dry and look how cute this is. Have you guessed what it is? It's a moth. I love that it's orange. It really reminds me of fall. I love the flapping wings and I love the simple dots. I hope that y'all had fun making this moth with me. For more fun videos, please visit outreachp.com and as always, thank you for watching.